the new part of the Lombardi Um This is uh, a little bit like a homecoming for me, uh, coming to the RAA. I spent almost 10 years in the regional airline business as Continental Express and then Express Jet Airlines. So uh, it's, it's great to be back and great to be representing Bombardier this time around. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about my background in a few minutes, but uh, I came from the airline business, then I was in the leasing business, so it seems only a, like a natural progression to uh, start building and selling airplanes now at Bombardier. So again, I'm very excited to be here. Um, let's see here. So, the fact that I've been here for four weeks, I'm, I'm no longer the new guy. Uh, we have the latest member of our team here today, and I, I want to introduce Colin Bolt, our Senior Vice President of Sales. A bit about Colin, he's a seasoned aviation leader with over 20 years of industry experience. I had the pleasure of working with him at ILFC where he successfully opened markets around the world, building relationships and fostering growth opportunities uh, as the Senior Vice President and Head of Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Uh, he also, for uh, a period of time, led the Asia Pacific Group as well. So Colin was most recently the Chief Commercial Officer at Intrepid Aviation, a leasing company, and obviously all of this experience makes him extremely well suited to take on a senior sales role uh, for us. His keen knowledge of the industry, aircraft, and customers will be a wonderful addition that will complement the talent and experience we already have at, at Bombardier. So a bit about me. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, you know, I spent my early uh, aviation career in the airline business. I started at Northwest Airlines in finance. Uh, from there, I kind of moved into this role of aircraft economics and fleet planning. Uh, taking the schedule that the marketing guys uh, developed and uh, trying to figure out the most economic and optimal fleet uh, to fly that schedule on a go-forward basis and then certainly doing the contracts, acquiring the airplanes uh, and, and uh, you know, front to back, analyzing and, and putting the new fleet in place. Moved to Continental Airlines, did that for a couple of years in the late 90s. Uh, and then moved over to the regional side of the business, as I mentioned earlier, with Continental Express. Took the company public as the CFO in uh, 2002 and spent several years there uh, growing that airline and really developing uh, its expertise in the regional jet business. Uh, after, uh, after spending uh, several years in, in the airline business, I thought I would try a little bit, something a little bit different, and I moved into aircraft finance at ILFC. I was hired there to become the uh, CFO, the retiring CFO at that time, and then took over the president's job about four years ago. So that's sort of my background. I've been in aviation most of my professional life. Uh, it's something that, as many of you know, it kind of gets in your blood and sticks with you, and, and happy to still uh, find that this next opportunity is as rewarding and challenging at Bombardier. So again, uh, thank you for the, the, the warm welcome. So now moving on to uh, our customers and sales, I want to recap uh, an announcement, a very exciting announcement that we made last week. I'm very pleased to confirm that Swiss International Airlines is not only our launch customer for the C-Series, but now will be our launch operator for entry into service in the first half of 2016. Again, very exciting announcement for us. Swiss uh, is a marquee customer and is a member of the Lufthansa team, has much experience introducing new aircraft into the market. So we are obviously extremely thrilled to have Swiss on board and are looking for, uh, forward to great things with this customer. Of course, our teams are closely working together to ensure a flawless entry into service and later on, Todd Young will talk about his customer services team and how we are going to continue to support the aircraft uh, uh, from delivery and entry into service. Uh, back to North America, there are some great things coming from our customer base here. Uh, obviously, North America has the distinction of being one of our top markets with almost 1,700 aircraft either in operation or on order. Uh, but despite this success in North America, we're not sitting back. We are certainly looking uh, forward to making ongoing investments and enhancements in our successful product base. Uh, and one of the things that I'm most keenly interested in is how we're going to continue to develop the regional aircraft and push those aircraft into markets uh, outside of, in North America, but outside of North America as well, and really developing a broader customer base. Kevin will talk.
talk about that a little bit more in his presentation. So with that, I'd now like to uh, introduce a very important customer for us, uh, Mesa Airlines. Uh, they most recently placed a uh, CRJ 900 Next Gen order for seven aircraft. They've been instrumental in uh, putting our regional jet aircraft on the map. Uh, they have been a loyal customer for the past 25 years uh, as a launch customer for the CRJ 900 2001, and they currently operate 58 of those aircraft in service. A repeat customer is obviously a satisfied customer, and here to tell us more about that is uh, Mesa Airlines. So, um, Jonathan's here, come on up, Joshua. Well, I gave you a script because I know I have a tendency to go off script a little bit. <laughs> and I'll start by first apologizing to Fred, who when he came to Continental Express, I had sort of unfortunately left him with a couple hundred Embraer 145s at the time. So anyway, um, first off, we can't say enough about the relationship that is existed between Bombardier and Mason. Um, it's you know centered around aircraft, but it really is been, it's really more about people. And all the people at Bombardier have stuck through us through thick and thin, as you know, we've had our difficulties. And I can tell you, undoubtedly, that Mesa would not be here today if it hadn't been for Bombardier. And that, like I said, goes beyond just the aircraft, but also means the people who have supported us and have just done a tremendous job, not only helping us grow, but helping us rebuild our company. And I want to thank you for that great work for us, because truly, when I mean it when I say it, I don't think we'd be here today. Um, as we mentioned, we were the launch customer. Those were heady days back then. Uh, we had, uh, I remember the, the ceremony quite well in Phoenix. And the aircraft has just been outstanding. It has been the backbone of our fleet. I'm sure that will continue to be the backbone of our fleet. Um, I think that everybody is well aware of the operating characteristics of the aircraft, its flexibility. I'm told by my high-ranking sources at American who, uh, you know, normally wouldn't tell me these things because we're negotiating with them all the time but it is, by unit, the most profitable aircraft in their fleet. And I think that really says a lot about the advantages of the aircraft. Um, we've continued to grow the fleet whenever we've had an opportunity. Uh, as most of those folks know, we've been scavenging the world for aircraft. we sort of run out of places to look. Um, you know, I think the last place we're gonna go now is look at Iraq, potentially, but you know, we're trying everything we can to find used airplanes that might be available. And uh, we will add aircraft, literally, we have the ability to add aircraft whenever we can find them on the used market. Um, that led us, because we did sort of run out of options there, uh, to be able to order new aircraft. And ordering new aircraft for Mesa, which you know in the old days was something that was easy to do. Um, you know, taking on an aircraft was not totally dissimilar to walking into a Toyota dealership and signing on the dotted line for a lease. Things have gotten a little more complicated these days. And uh, I will tell you that there are a lot of folks that did not feel, even within Side Mesa, that we'd be able to finance new aircraft. And again, uh, as a result of the relationships we've developed over these last 25 years, uh, we were able to do that. And I can tell you, we, I think, surprised a lot of people, both within our company and our major partners and throughout the industry. And I will tell you that we were able to do that at incredibly competitive rates that made the aircraft, I think, very compelling uh, for our senior airline partners. Um, lastly, you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, a lot of folks when they're comparing the different products, uh, you know, they talk about the quality and the customer experience, and I will tell you that without a doubt, uh, particularly the next gen, the new aircraft at Bombardier is uh, absolutely outstanding in that regard. Um, there's been a lot of subtle improvements made to the aircraft that when you put them all together, add up to some really big differences. And uh, we feel very comfortable going forward for the aircraft. Uh, we really, the thing we're looking for is an aircraft that, you know, I feel that these aircraft will go for a lot, probably a lot longer than people expected. Um, you know, interestingly, when you talk about the CRJ200, uh, we did a sea uh, check on a, I think the highest time CRJ200 in the world. And we all thought it was going to be so expensive and it actually, the cost of doing a 40,000 hour sea check was lower than what the cost was for our average cost. And the 900 is even better aircraft built us to commercial spec, and we suspect that the 900s will last a long time for us. For better or worse, you may not be able to sell the airplane. <laughs> um, the fact is the airplane is incredibly reliable. It's held up remarkably well as even the launch customer. 
and we feel very strongly that this is an aircraft that we will continue to build our fleet on. And I think all that really goes back to my first comment, which is it's all because of the people of Bombardier who have stood behind us and stood with us over these last 25 years. So thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you. Thank you. As he mentioned, it's, it's kind of funny, as I look out in the room, there's a few people here where, where I've uh, had the pleasure of working with in, in my career in aviation. And uh, you know, we overlapped at Continental for some period of time. Paul Foley is also here, the COO, so welcome, Paul. Uh, we were talking earlier this morning, he and I overlapped for some period of time at Northwest Airlines when I first started there. So it's very relationship-based business, and uh, as I look around, it's, it's great to see uh, a few people in the audience here that I've worked with in the past. Uh, one other airline that we wanted to recognize uh, this morning, since we're in this great state of Ohio, is PSA Airlines, which uh, is uh, from Dayton, Ohio, and, and one of our customers as well. Our relationship with PSA spans over 15 years. Uh, earlier this year, they ordered uh, another 24 new CRJ900 next-gen aircraft to add to their existing fleet. So uh, with that, I, I'll turn it over to Kevin, and then uh, I'll come back at the end uh, and to participate in the Q&A. Thanks very much.